the channel and uh, we're on our main holiday now on his way to Norfolk but we're having a one night stop here at Lawns and Lakes near Spalding Holbeck area so yeah we've had a good journey from storage it took us about just under two hours an hour and a half ish I don't know but great not really any traffic so we've done well so I'll show you where we are this is our set up as usual okay we're not putting it on in up here because like I say it's just a one nighter just to break journey up and that's looking down this little field there's a lot more fields here so we'll take you around and show you them as and when when we get out but we're just having a chill out now a bit of a drink and it is nice and warm as well it'll be back and give it about 25 in car when we're coming down so that's not a bad temperature really so yeah we'll catch you in a bit when we we'll go for a stroll around and show you what this site's got to offer Right, we're just going to have a wander around and show you what's on offer here at uh, Lawns and Lakes caravan site. Here's a little, one of the lakes. This is stone's throw from our caravan. And there's little fishing pegs here as well, if you're a fisherman. And that's looking up the field. It's only a small field this we're on at this bit. This must be toilet block, I'm not sure, and some washing up for campers. Some porter cabins there. They look quite modern. And some electrical cups here and some non electrical cups this side for campers. Yeah, it looks cool. In here, if you've got some washers, fridge, microwave, and your sinks if you're camping. And it tells you a bit about it there, about the site. This looks like it's main lake and there's a couple of guys fishing there. So we're going to have a stroll around here and see what's happening here. There's plenty of open space here for walking, dog and what have you. I think there's some pictures on here as well. Some electric hookup posts over there. I think this must be main lake some swans or ducks over there it's quite big yeah great place to be if you're a fisherman as well brilliant this is another little view at lake from another side there's some quite big fish in there I don't know if you can see over there that guy with fishing rod, he's got a fish on. Just putting his net, it looked quite a big one where it was swashing about and all. And there it is. Yeah. Well, he's got, we might have to go around and see in a bit. Got another little field here with a mixture of caravans, campers. Tents. I think these are the bigger pictures. This looks nice here for sitting out. Loads of lights and chairs, tables, and it's all bulking that lake over there. We'll go through there in a bit. And here's a shop that sells what do they sell you? Hey, cakes and ice cream and whatever you think. There's some more toilets here as well. Ellen wants to get some cake. Oh, fish and chips as well. Oh, I think they said chefs. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. Saturday, yeah. Here we go. There's an indoor bit and some cakes. Ellen's just treat us to some. But this is a lovely place. They have turns on in here and things. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, superb. And here's the walk into the lake again, where our caravan is. Just the other side of there. That's a small one. Good bridge over there. Yeah, superb. And then, like I said, we've got outdoor eating area. And I've just banged my head on that tree. <laughs> yeah, superb. So, that's been a little tour of Lawns and Lakes near Holbeck in Lincolnshire. And I'm going to return the caravan now and eat these cakes we've got and, well, and have some dinner first though. And then chill out until tomorrow and we're moving on to Pinewoods at Wells Next to Sea. Oh, 
Hi folks, well we're here and set up at Pine Woods and yeah, what can I say about it? It's not our favourite already, I'm going to admit. It, it's just not what we used to. Uh, there's kids running about, they're running between the awning and the car and, um, and the landscaping's awful. I know it can't help with sun but they're not even cut between pictures. I'll show you around, it's just... Well... Oh, you, we're not just used to this, we're used to the normal quieter ones and stuff. But we're going to make the best of it. I'll show you around here. It's just so regimental as well, just all in rows. And what well, I said, they've not been around with grass cutter all for ages. Uh, well, it is fully serviced. And like I said, we have been to the beach earlier. The beach is absolutely fantastic, so that's the consolation at it all really nice beach with a paddle with peanuts and he loved it but it's very breezy and i don't know if you can see i'm really struggling with on in here it's uh, been blowing in at this back end this back beam's been struggling but hopefully the wind might die down but i mean it's a really warm breeze i must admit it's been absolutely scorching today since we got here it went up to 30 you know uh journey down here was brilliant um, we got diverted down the country lane and yeah I want to just be in for a shower she's just here but yeah generally like it's like being on an haven site I would say I'd class it to that and we're not used to that we used to more tranquil parks but then again we have chosen it uh you know we have paid good money to come here so we're gonna make the best of it uh if we don't get any damage from the caravan or car that's like it's a kids are just running around belting balls around I've seen a car get hit earlier and there's a big family next to us and they're uh, been running around like you say but at the end of the day we'll make the best of it so I'll leave it there for today that's a bit of a gripe for today but I don't know I'm a gripe but uh, never mind well like you say we're gonna enjoy it so we'll catch you soon well, bye for now well good morning folks after a good night's sleep yet again we're heading off out into Wells to explore the town, meet up with some friends and get a bite to eat. So that's the view we've got. I think the tide looks like tides out at the moment. We were on that beach around there, you see. I didn't get any video, but we we'll walked back there. So, yeah, that's where we're heading. Right, we just walked for about, I'd say about three quarters of a mile to a mile down into Wells. And this is Arbor Tides Out. Pretty old stable cat. Things are not going anywhere fast until we've got an eye tidy. So, yeah, we're going to have a look round here. And hopefully meet up with Mandy and Steve. They're staying in that building there with the tower coming out I think that's where they are so we'll catch you soon and here's another view of the arbor from the other side walking round I think these go out to sea as well yeah. beautiful little town In, which are very nice. We've got the shuttle bus back up to the campsite. Views up near Lifeboat Station. Right, the sun's coming out again. There you go, come back down for a drink with his friends. Another view from the same view we took earlier, but tight in now. It's still very busy here though, it took us ages to get parked. Sun's setting nice there. Again, we're tidy. There's some boat trips going in and out. So we're just going to relax here with seats and have a bit of a drink while the sun goes down. Well, we're out and about another day, and we're in Sheringham now. I had a nice little drive about half an hour from. Wells next to sea. This is what Sheringham looks like. I don't think I've ever been here. 
when I were a kid, but I don't know. Sucking up some of the We can't take peanuts on there, so uh, we'll, we'll find one where we can. No one's there chilling out and peanuts. Walking with in anticipation because he wants to go in the sea. We've found a nice little beach part where peanut can go in. Straight in there, look. Bless him. He loves it paddling in the sea. Looking back. Beach huts. Guest houses. Looks like some kind of hotel or something up there. It's quite a big place. Yeah, it's great. And we've dropped on with weather again. Oh, you can make that. There's an RF Hercules flying over. We had a lot of RF planes buzzing around this neck of woods. Oh, there he's gone right in, look. <laughs> so has Owen. Well, I've got my trainers on, so I'm keeping out of way. To the end of our little stroll on the front here at Sheringham. And that's looking up, I think, westerly, is it? Or north, I don't know. Towards Blakeney, what have you. And that's looking the other way. This is where it's dog friendly. Although we found a bit down there, what were as well. Right, we're having a walk back up to the car now. This is Main Street down to Arbor uh, Beach, in fact, yeah. And that's looking up to the railway station. Well, we're on this way back to the campsite. We've called off at this little place called Salt House. And these deserted beaches. We've just come down this little lane and parked at end. And we found this. Came back down towards Sheringham, that way. Up coast towards Blakeney. Wow, hardly a soul about. Absolutely amazing. We've just arrived at Blakeney, Blakeney Point, so we're going to have a look all around here. Last year coming in, people swimming in it, and that's where it all boats tail. We're not going to stay long here because we've got no change shot gap back in there. Mm. Right, we've been back at campsite for a bit, and we're just taking Doggy for a walk to the beach again. I'll show you a bit of route we've come on already through some pine trees and what have you. Hopefully it'll be down here we took a long route of the day. Let's see. We're almost there. I think it's took us about 15 minutes to walk from caravan to here, which is not too bad. It's hard sand though to walk in. This is a view, but great show when you get here, well worth it. And this is part of Holcomb Beach. Looking over to what sand dunes. There's Alan and Peanut going for a paddle. Oh, it's a bit seaweedy here. Yeah? It's warm though. Beautiful.
wells and we found this beach. Absolutely beautiful. Proper deserted, not many people around. I walked up and down from the sand dunes up there. This is like a little oasis in the middle of the beach. This was where tide comes into it. It's very windy though, I don't know if you can hear me of it. Sound at breeze. I reckon if we carried on walking that way we'd end up at our campsite. Shows how vast this beach is. So massive. About ten minutes to walk to sea in it, Ellen. <laughs> where we've come from. That seems over there. And that's where we're heading to that little village. Over there you can see. We've still got a fair way to go. Right we're back where we started. This is Burton Aubrey Stair. We're parked in that car park there, it's been free. That's good. I think it is anyway, we might have a ticket on, who knows? I didn't see the machine. Lots of people taking advantage of warm weather in there. Tide's well out though at the moment. Anyway, let's get back to the car. I think we're just having a stroll around Statics area on Pinewood. Seattle, the Ralph live. Looks very nice. Well, Tended to. Ah. After my little gripe earlier on, though, when we first got here, we've grown to quite like it. So I'll take that all back. It's not been that noisy, really. Now I won't class it to an even site, but uh, that's what we thought when we arrived. But now it's been fine. A nice little base to get around. Uh, yeah, here we go. We're trying to find a lake now on the campsite. We'll keep getting lost. And it's lake bit we've come to see at Pinewoods. Love all bike static caravans. It's quite big actually. I don't think it was as big as that. It's classed as a wildlife area. Yeah, that is. Backing wells in the port area. I don't know if you can look it out, there's a steel sculptured horse over on that sandbank. There's a looking round the harbour. Right, folks, it's uh, as day we move in off to Clipsby Hall and we're going to do a separate video for that one so that will be part two of our Norfolk adventure but I will show you around again uh, before we go because obviously I didn't do too much on the site when we first got here I think we're a bit disillusioned but we quite like it now so uh, yeah it's been quiet uh, not what we thought it was going to be so yeah we'll get a thumbs up and it's a great location for the beach and getting around so yeah that's us Morning, we're down last night, and uh, it's just a matter of taking the electric away now. We've took water away. We had a fully service pitch here, and uh, that's been fantastic. That straight to the drain. We've never done that before, so it's been good. And that's a little look down the site. And there's quite a few people packing up though, so it is a day for people changing over. It is a Friday, so yeah. There's a few spare pictures, but I'm sure they'll be full later. There's one departing. They've just been opposite us, so I'll just show you around. Well, near the facility block, I won't go in. So, one second, and we'll be there. So, here's the motorhome service point where you empty your grey waste down. We've got recycling. That's there. 
and plenty of bins to put your stuff in. I'll show you around where the Elson is. There's a washing up area there, somebody's in there so we won't go in. And there's a laundry, that's there with washing machines, we haven't had to use them yet. And this is the Elson point, very well kept. And I've had to use it a couple of times of course. And, and this is the area where the toilets are. Gents that side, Oed is the other side and family ones in the middle. There's two of these blocks on this touring site, so and they've been it like I said, immaculately kept, uh, spotless every time we've been in so for amount of people here. It's been brilliant, so I can't fault them and they're really nice and modern, so that's a plus. So yeah, if you want to come to Bynewoods, I would definitely recommend you coming here, particularly for families. I think it's great for families and beach access, probably about 15 minutes walk and you come to a fantastic beach. Uh, absolutely amazing that, I just can't fault that at all. And areas smashing as well, so... Uh, we're going to end it here for this one. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and uh, hopefully we'll catch you on the next one down at Cutsby Hall and the centre of Norfolk, with the, around the Norfolk Broads area. So, uh, like I say, we'll catch you later. Bye for now.